Oops, got a, got a little bit of reverb there. Happy Thursday, welcome. And we've got a sunny sky here in Urbana, Illinois. Can you see in here? Let me know. That's what I want to know. And we have a sunny sky, and we have close to 60 degrees. See in here, good. We have close to 60 degrees, and it's going to be like that today. Good day for a walk in the sunshine. So I'm going to start off. I'm starting off with the ukulele. Um, Kathy's not here yet, but I'll go back to it later. And because um, she, she's inspired me to get more into the ukulele. I've had one for a few years, but I didn't. I played it off and on. So the first song, I, and this is like my traditional kind of set list. Um, we do a sunny also. Okay. And so this is a traditional song, which I usually I usually start my set list off with, if I can, with some traditional song, and then we go into other folk and country and western and originals and stuff. So here's the first one. It's called I'll Fly Away and Sing Along. Some bright morning when this life is over I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shore I'll fly away I'll fly away, oh Lord I'll fly away in the morning When I die, hallelujah, by and by I'll fly away When the shadows of this life have grown I'll fly away To a land where joys will never end I'll fly away I'll fly away, oh Lordy fly away in the boredom when I die hallelujah by and by I'll fly away oh how glad and happy when we meet I'll fly away no more cold iron shackles on my feet I'll fly away Just a few more weary days and then I'll fly away To a land where joys will never end I'll fly away Everyone sing now, thank you I'll fly away on glory I'll fly away in the morning When I die, hallelujah by and by fly away one more time I'll fly away on oh glory I'll fly away in the morning when I die hallelujah by and by I'll fly away I'll fly away okay I'll fly away. And um, put down the uke. Okay, just putting down the uke. You know, that song, um, one of my, I've always, I told you this before on some of my other streams, but maybe not here. But the best version that I like of this song is done by Gillian Welsh and Alison Krauss. So. And it's on the soundtrack album of um, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? But as I've, I told, once I told Kathy, I don't know if I told you guys, but in the actual movie itself, it's some other people called the Kosoi Sisters who sing it. But in any case, it's a great old traditional song and it's 
been renewed um, with some great energy by, by Gillian Welsh and Alison Krauss. Yeah. Okay, next we're going to go to... Oh, you have to see the movie. You have to see it. It's, it's good music, and it's good acting. Um, very, it's very comedic, very, very good um, with, um, with Clooney and um, you know all these good stars that are in it. Yeah, yeah. People have heard that at church also. Um, that, that song is widely known by people. I sing it when I go to the, the nursing homes, um, that was because I like to get songs which the people can sing along with, so that was one of the favorite ones. But yeah, get the soundtrack, but get to see the movie, you have to see the movie. Okay, okay, next song is a song which I wrote, and it concerns the ethical code of conduct. Uh, it's a code of conduct that the yogis follow, but I think all kind of sensible people follow, and the idea is that one of the rules of good conduct is you shouldn't take more than you need because when you do that, it creates a lot of problems for others and also for yourself. So I wrote a song about that. It's called, Do I Need It Now? The first and maybe even the second verse, sometimes some people find it a little pinching, you know? But remember, I'm singing about somebody else. It's not about you, okay? So here we go. It's called, Do I Need It? Welcome, Jake. I know you got stuff houses, cars, clothes, gadgets, and things. And you're looking for more, that's for sure. But do you have need? Or is it just your sky making greed? I'm singing about somebody else, it's not about you. If you take too much, someone may go homeless. Toothless, shirtless, luckless, and more. That's the way, the way the world works. I think it's time to cut down on some of those perks. And before you grab anything, Ask yourself one time, do I need it? Before you grab anything, ask yourself just one time, do I need it? Thank you. Thanks, Josh. <laughs> so take what you need, get your food, clothes, medicine, shelter, and all. Take what you need and nothing more. You'll be happier than you ever were before. And before you grab anything, ask yourself just one time, do I need
can get your chocolate, no problem with that. But when people pile up too much stuff, it creates some problems. So don't do that. That's um, one of the, it, it, in yoga, there's this thing, my friend Ocean, but his name is Josh, really. Uh, he's one of my students, and he knows that it's part of Yama Niyama, and it's called a parigraha. Thank you, Jake, and thank you, Ocean, and thank you, Paul and Susie, for the tips. Um, it's part of what's called a parigraha. It means not to take too, more than you need. Just get what you need. There's no problem with that. Take it easy, but don't. if you take too much, it's going to cause a problem. But you can have the chocolate. <laughs> you don't corner the market, yeah. You can take the market, but enjoy the market, but don't corner the market. What's the need for that? Okay. Okay, so next we're going to do um, what this used to be one of my most um, requested songs when I used to be on, um, on Twitch, and uh, on Twitch especially, it was requested a lot. And it's, um, it's Mr. Tambourine Man by Bob Dylan. And if you, if you look at the poetry of this song, then you understand why he won the Nobel Prize for Literature. That's my opinion, anyway. So here we go, we're gonna, in six verses, some five and a half verses, six verses. It's long, I'm gonna be looking at some lyrics, but I have this um, scrolling mechanism, so that should help me get through that. Here it's going, it's working, good. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, play a song for me. I'm not sleepy, and there is no place I'm going to. Hey, Mr. Tambourine a song for me In the jingle jangle morning I'll come following you Though I know that evening's empire has returned into sound and vanished from my hand Let me blindly here to stand but still not sleeping Streets too dead for dreaming. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, play a song for me. I'm not sleepy, and there is no place I'm going to. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, play a song for me. In the jingle jangle morning, I'll come following you. Upon your magic swirling ship My senses have been stripped My hands can't feel to grip My toes turn up to step Waiting only for my good hands to be wondering I'm ready to go anywhere I'm ready for to fade Into my own parade your dancing spell my way I promise to go under it Hey Mr. Tambourine Man Play a song for me I'm not sleepy And there is no place I'm going to Hey Mr. Tambourine Man Play a song for me In that jingle jangle morning I'll come Across the sun, it's not aimed at anyone. But for the sky, there are no fences facing. And if you hear the traces of skipping reels of rhyme, to your tambourine in time, it's 
just a ragged clown behind I wouldn't pay it any mind It's just a shadow you're seeing that is chasing Hey Mr. Tambourine Man, play a song for me I'm not sleepy and there is no place I'm going of my mind Down the foggy rooms of time Far past the frozen leaves The haunted frightened trees Up to the windy beach Far from the twisted reach of crazy sorrow Let it dance beneath the diamond sky With one hand waving free Silhouetted by the sea Circled by the circus signs With all memory and fate Driven deep beneath the waves Let me forget about today until tomorrow Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man Play a song for me I'm not sleeping and There is no place I'm going to Soraya, and um, I thank you, Josh and Susie and everybody for the, the tips. I couldn't follow all the, the thing going on here. Yeah, thank you. Okay, you know, um, that was a big hit for the birds in 1965. Uh, it was their first hit. You might know that. But did, I bet you didn't know that they only did one verse of the song. They only did the second verse. Because in those days... Uh, there was a strict kind of um, policy of the radios. It can't be much more than three minutes. Okay, so that was um, Bob Dylan's song. Now time for one of my songs. This is a song I haven't done here, and I haven't done much online. So, so um, it's, a, um, it's a song about my kind of experience. So, you know, uh, people might know, uh, I'm a yogi, meditation teacher, and stuff like that. So you may think that in the mind of a meditation teacher, there's never any worry. Well, that's not true. We're just like anybody else. We can get preoccupied with stuff. So one day, I had a lot of stuff on my mind. Worries, you might say. Then I sat down for meditation, and when I finished the meditation... They were gone. So I wrote a song about it. It's called, Why Should I Worry? It's kind of personal, but I hope you like it. Why should I worry when you're here by me? Why should I worry when you're here by me? Why should I worry? got you, and you've got me, we'll be together to eternity, now I'll lay down my heavy load, as I walk on life's winding road, I 
tried so hard, I tried so long To be someone oh so strong Never knew that I had it wrong You were with me all along Now I lay down my heavy load As I walk on life's winding road I'm fixing my life, gonna do it right Never gonna let you out of my sight I feel your love every day and night My cares resolve on your endless light Now I'll lay down my heavy load As I walk on as wide So why should I worry? Here by me, why should I worry when it's plain to see? I've got you, and you've got me. We'll be together till eternity. Now I'll lay down my heavy load as I walk on life's winding road. Gonna lay down. This um, song, actually, is based on a kind of a poem that people may have seen. Um, it's usually accompanied with a picture of one man, a person's footsteps on a beach. So um, there are, first you see two footsteps, and then you only see one footstep. And it's basically, it's the idea that, that God is talking to one person, and then, the, yeah, but he, the guy says, yeah, but when I went through... Um, when I went through my biggest worries, you were not there. There was only one set of footsteps, and he said, no, I was carrying you. That's the inner meaning of the song, but anyway, figure it out. <laughs> okay, next we're gonna um, do a song written by another great poet, Donovan. It's called To Try for the Sun. I'm getting the words up on the screen. I know the song, but just to be sure, you can never be too sure. So this is a song that Donovan wrote. Yilda, Yilda, welcome. Welcome to the show. Happy to have you here. So this is a song that Donovan wrote when he was maybe 19 years old. And it was on his first album, I think it's called the Fairy, in the US it's called the Fairy Tale album, folk album. And it's about, it's about his, um, his, his voyages, his, his, his wandering through, um, um, Great Britain with, with a friend who was named Dave, who we called Gypsy Dave. He's not a gypsy, he turned out to be a renowned architect actually. <laughs> but, but they call him Gypsy Dave, I don't know why. So it's a song about his youthful um, coming of age. I hope you like it. We stood in the windy city. <laughs> Get this thing working. Here we go. We stood in the windy city. The gypsy boy and I. We slept on the breeze in the midnight. With the tears dropping rain in our eyes And who's gonna be the one To say it was no good what we done I dare a man to say 
Try for the sun. That's, that's, that's what I take from the song. Try for the sun. And for those who have read my, my memoir, there's an incident. Um, there is an incident in the, in the book where, um, where um, basically I had this thing happen to me. I was, I was invited <laughs> by a kind of a town drunk because I couldn't find any other accommodation. He said, well, you could stay with me. So I said, where do you stay? He said, I stay in the, um... oh, Paul got it delivered. So he, he, um, he said to me, oh, I stay in the bandstand on the park. Uh, you know, it's an open bandstand. I said, that doesn't sound like a great idea, but I couldn't find anything. So then I, I availed of his opportunity and I stayed with him. But in the, it was really cold in the middle of the night he put a come out of a, a dirty blanket on my shoulders, and I felt warm, so it was okay. But it reminded me of Donovan saying that Gypsy Dave put that on thing. I found someone mentioned Gypsy Dave. Dave up here, I'm going to look there. Yeah, there was some uh, that Gypsy Dave. Uh, Gypsy Dave is um, any folk song about him is probably written by Donovan. Probably. Okay, so we reached a kind of a, yeah, we reached a halfway. Yeah, we reached a halfway point now. So that was Donovan. Next song, we'll do one of my songs. It's one of my, in the, my genre of, um, 
uh, you can call them spiritual love songs. It's called Stay With Me Endlessly. Let me get the thing sort of. Yeah. So it's a very simple song. I hope you like it. I look into your face Let's get that right Thank you When I look into your eyes I can see the moon rise When I gaze into your face I fly across all time and space Stay with me endlessly Fly into eternity Stay with me endlessly Fly into eternity Let's jump into the inner light We'll chase the darkness of the night We'll run beside a deep blue sea a gentle wind will set us free Stay with me endlessly We'll fly into eternity Stay with me endlessly We'll fly into eternity we listen to a sound divine we feel the bliss one more time We gaze upon a setting sun We share our joy with everyone So Stay with me endlessly We'll fly into eternity Stay with me endlessly We'll fly into eternity When I look into your eyes, I can see the moon arise. When I gaze into your face, I fly across all time and space. Stay with me endlessly, fly into eternity. Stay with me endlessly, fly into eternity. Yeah, so Susie, you know, that's a song which I didn't appreciate so much. Not in the sense that it's, it's a very simple song, you know, and I didn't expect expect it to. But I've had pe people who've listened to my album um, and who've heard that, that track, they say, oh, wow, I like that, you know. But that was a song, it's not an album filler, but it was, I didn't expect it, it's not a, I didn't expect it to be a standout kind of song, but in its own simplicity. I guess it's, it's people like it, so yeah. Okay, next. Um, thank you, Yilda. Um, next, I have a treat for you guys. I, I think I hope it's a treat. It's in the. Um, it's come from the doo wop section of my of my um, tastes, you know, because I grew up with the in the fifties and sixties in the early rock and roll period and young vocal groups used to come on and they used to do these kind of um, doo-wop doo-wop songs. Um, so today, the song we're going to do is one which I loved it when it came out and I think it was one of, it was one of the biggest hits of 1958. That's how far I go back. Let me just stop this before I... One second. Yeah, so it was one of the biggest songs of 1958, so that's how far I go back. I go back beyond, beyond that. But at that time, I used to, um, I used to um, really enjoy that. You know, a little kid with a transistor radio when the, when the songs came out, wow. So this is a song 
It's based on a, on a nursery rhyme and a group from Staten Island, New York, you know, little borough near Manhattan. Um, they made this song and they, they reached the top 10 with it. <laughs> anyway, maybe you heard it in your crib. It was all over the place in 1958. It's called Little Star by a group called The Elegance. And I met them and I got the autograph of the lead singer. His name is Vito. Vito, Vito Picon, his name is, and he wrote the song. And he was the um, lead singer. I'll tell you how I met him afterward. Let's do the song. And oh, you have to do a do what part. So not last time we had one did 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 this time it's um oh oh rat a tat a tat a too <laughs> oh rat a tat a tat a too that's it oh so oh rat a tat a tat a too anyway you get a you get a chance and everybody and you'll be able to do it here we go. <laughs> Where are you, little star? Where are you? Oh, ratatatatatatoo. Oh, ratatatatatoo. This is a practice. Oh, ratatatatatatoo. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder where you are. Wish I may and wish I might make this wish come true tonight. Searched all over for love. You're the one I'm thinking of. Oh, ratatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatat
and we were getting autographs because they used to give out a big program. It was a big program like this, you know, eight and a half by eleven, and all the stars were pictured in it. I saw Fats Domino there also. So anyway, he was in the in that shop, and then we he got he gave us his autograph. <laughs> And I met Larry Williams, who, who he sang a very famous like blues song called Boney Maroney. And I met him in the same hot dog shop. He also gave me his autograph. But I won't sing Boney Maroney. It's a little bit bad. But it's not... Yeah, but Richie Valens and, and Buddy Holly were not at the show, unfortunately. But, but, but the big bopper was there. He had a song at that time called Chantilly Lace. Next song is a heavy song. The next song is a very heavy song. So, um, so it's it's a you know we have a big problem in this country you know, um, with guns and kids die and stuff like that. So I have a song, I wrote it some years back. I don't know if everyone will agree with everything I say. Maybe you'll agree with some of it, I hope. And if, if you don't agree, don't, don't take it against me. Everyone's entitled to their beliefs, as you are, and as I am. It's called, I'd Really Like to Know. She don't kill unborn babies, she's above blame And moose, deer, and caribou are her fair game Now I just don't get it, I really like to know Why some lives are sacred, others have to go whoa, 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 whoa. In 10,000 B.C. it was cool to kill a beast Human life depended on some scraps of meat But time has moved on and we've really got to see What can we do to stop this killing spree? And I just don't get it, I'd really like to know some lives are sacred, others have to go, whoa, 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 whoa. They say that carrying guns is everybody's right. The founding father said, fight the good fight. But in our schools, kids are dying caught in a bright. Endless bullets fired in broad daylight And I just don't get it I'd really like to know Why some lies are sacred Others have to go whoa, 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 whoa. They say that carrying guns is everybody's right Father said, fight the good fight. But in our schools, kids are dying caught in a blight of endless bullets fired in broad daylight. And I just don't get it. I'd really like to know why some lives are sacred, others have to go. Whoa, 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 whoa.
Okay, so I'm coming near the end. Um, I think I have ten minutes here. We have time for two more songs. Okay, so I'm glad you like that. I was afraid that maybe you wouldn't like that song, but that I was just, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to offend anybody, but I also want to say what I think is on my mind and and I think um, I, th I, sh I think I my idea is enough is enough. You know, we have to um, we have to do something to protect all lives. All lives, life is sacred. You know, so we have to protect it. But it means also in our schools. You know, everywhere, in our streets, in our homes. Yeah. So think about that and let's work for that. Okay, I'm going to lighten it up now. Thanks, Josh. You know, I told you that I didn't write any songs until I was 52 years old. But one day, back in um, 1973, one of my friends, his name is Larry Mitchell. Larry Mitchell, um, he was like a country and western guy. He was from Alabama. But we were both together in the spiritual training program. Then we parted ways. So I didn't see him for many years. But he was a very good singer. And he wrote one song... He wrote a few songs, but he wrote, I said, if I could write even one song like his, I'll, I'll be a happy man. So I ended up, I did write some songs. It's called Let's Not Wait Till Tomorrow. It's also a spiritual kind of song. So I think I should press this. Um, I'll press the button now. Uh, um, Press the five minute button, so we have seven. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna extend the show now. And thanks for the tip, Susie. And I'm glad that you guys liked it, and Josh liked it too. Great. Okay, so we're gonna do Let's Not Wait Till Tomorrow, written by my friend Larry Mitchell. He inspired me to write songs, although it took, took many years, it took 40 years later, and then I start writing you know, 30 years later. Here it goes. There's a little light inside of every one of us Through the darkness all of us must go By His grace we'll all get to know Him well All we gotta do is try a little more So let's not wait till tomorrow Why not start it today? There's so many little doors to open, you know And He's always there to guide us on our way I thought that I had things do in my life. We get that again. I thought that I had things to do in my life. Never's time to stop and look around. Sisters and brothers in need of my love. I guess it's time I gave them what I should So let's not wait till tomorrow Why not start it today? There's so many little doors to open, you know And He's always there to guide us on our way Let's not wait till tomorrow Why not start it today? There's so many little doors to open, you know And He's always there to guide us on our way You know He's always there to guide us on our way He's always there to guide us on our way.
So that was written by my friend Larry Mitchell. So we parted ways. He became actually, he became um, a, a Protestant pastor. But he moved to New, to Nashville. He's trying to, he's had as, as a songwriter, a singer-songwriter, but he just didn't make it. But he became a pastor, but he always stayed spiritual to the end. Yeah, so it's a great song. It's on one of my albums. It's on one of my, it's on my, on, it's on my album called Remember the Sun Will Shine. It's a wonderful song. It starts off with A minus seventh chord. That's, you, know, just, you hear the first chord, ah, oh, sounds great. So he, anyway, I said, if I could write one song similar to his, I'll be happy. So then I, I ended up writing several. Okay, next we're going to do, we have, um, we have three minutes, I think. We've got three minutes. We're going to do an Indian song. It's called, I think we'll do a short one, Bandu Hay. I'm teaching this on, um, I have a tutorial course. You know, you can learn guitar and learn how to do um, Bhavanam Kevalam. Um, so, so this is called Bandhu Hey. It means, oh Lord, lead me along. Take me to the, to the um, fountain of light. Open up my heart and lead me, and break all the darkness of my life and take me to you. Something like that. It's in Bengali language, so. You have to go with the, what I told you was the interpretation. Here we go. Bondu hai niye chalo Bondu hai niye chalo Agoro hai jaan tarapane Agoro hai jaan tarapane Bondu hai Chalo, bon du hey, ye chalo, a dare biata shoin up rane, a dare biata shoin up rane, bon du hey, ye chalo, bon du hey, ye chalo, who may go bang on Ugane Gane, who may go bang on Ugane Gane. YouTube channel, there's a Kirtan tutorial number five. You can learn how to play it. Three chords. D, A, and G. You can do it. <laughs> 